coaches, let's take a look at the Stanford Cardinal and their version of the Princeton offense, which they called Jersey. This video features the progressions through what they call high alignment and is commonly called point series in the Princeton offense. High alignment is so named due to the presence of the post at the elbow. You often see Stanford and other Princeton teams enter the ball to this player, but in these clips there may be some high post denial that disrupts that. The show must go on, so Stanford then dribbles at the wing player, sending her on a backdoor cut. Oftentimes, it is the spin dribble that unlocks this option from high alignment as you see from Nebraska Wesleyan in this clip. Two phases of the Princeton offense here. The pass ahead and cut through in transition puts the offense in low alignment. The post is on the block. The wing passes to top of circle and the Cardinals segue from low to high alignment. The dribble at the double side triggers the back cut. And the back cut does not come free. Watch the cutter leg whip into a post up. Next in the progression, the pin screen. The player blast cutting out of the corner gets the catch. The high post sets a pin screen to the passer. The setup and timing are vital. The recipient of the screen walks in towards the elbow, plants their outside foot, then pushes back off the screen. The pass should be received near the same side lane line. This creates a vast amount of gap space to drive into so long as the opposite wing shows some corner discipline and refrains from cutting up into the space. We now enter the drive and kick game. Final clips of the progression. No backdoor layup, no leg whip, and no return pass to the recipient of the pin screen. Instead, they enter to the screener. This moves the offense into five out or open phase. 